Good storytelling has always been about intuition informed by knowledge. Using your gut to tell the right kind of story to the right kind of audience to get them to think and see the world in a new light. One of the great early examples is Robert Flaherty's documentary, Nanook of the North. Over several years, Flaherty and his crew documented an Inuit, Nanook, and his family as they survived the extreme conditions in the Canadian Arctic. Feeling that modern culture was encroaching, I think Flaherty was hoping that his film could in some way shift awareness and help preserve their way of life. But aside from the film's box office success, Flaherty couldn't accurately measure the social impact of Nanook of the North. Computational social science and data science are starting to change all that. They're giving storytellers the tools now to accurately assess in many ways the social impact of their stories. And even more interestingly, to start to give them the opportunity to fold that information back in to the storytelling process to more effectively increase the impact and influence of their stories. But at BuzzFeed, people would come to us with their videos for various social causes and, and issues and say, uh, help me make this video go viral. Almost always the content uh, did not have the contagious nature that I think they were hoping it had. And at the same time, I was reading all this research on how influence works and how people make decisions, and I was seeing that none of this, it appeared, was being incorporated uh, in the storytelling. And I thought, oh boy, there's a tremendous opportunity here. People can make their stories 10 times more effective and influential if they just incorporated this. And then I thought, well, wait a second. What do I mean by 10 times? How would I measure that? And I began to look around for ways to measure this and saw that nobody was doing this, really, in a, in a way that seemed uh, uh, really effective. We're at a really exciting place for storytellers right now because there is finally an opportunity to have a pretty accurate idea of the social impact of your story using media. We looked at AMC's premiere of The Walking Dead and we had subjects wired up to EEG watching the premiere. And we took that EEG data and we contrasted it with the social media data from a matching group watching the premiere as well. And the most interesting thing that we found was that heart-wrenching moments tend not to diffuse socially. There's a scene where the sheriff goes into his home and finds his family missing, and the EEG data is just spiking off the charts. Social media is dead. Now the takeaway for a storyteller from that is that if you have an element in your story that you want to diffuse socially, you're better off not making that an especially sad or, or grim moment. People talk a lot about shifting the conversation, moving the conversation, but it isn't enough to just believe that you've moved the conversation because someone's using a slightly different metaphor or frame. So we use a machine learning technique called topic modeling to take a look at the topics most statistically uh, correlated to the subject we're interested in. Let's say that subject is fracking. So with Josh Fox's Gasland, we see that the topics start out uh, very kind of uh, banal and descriptive, uh, referring to the names of energy companies. Then Gasland premieres, we see some of the elements start to emerge in these top associated subjects, things like tap water catching on fire, the Marcellus Shale. Then over time, we see the topics change even further, still including some of those previous topics, but also now including things like bans and New York State legislature as those uh, top 
topics change, you get to see uh, how the conversation is shifting around a subject in a very meaningful way. That's the kind of evidence of maximum impact uh, that a storyteller really wants to be able to see. Understanding impact is a complex undertaking, but there are all kinds of ways to creatively incorporate data collection and metrics into the process of purposeful storytelling. Now storytellers are going to have a whole new toolbox. They, had a they have a toolbox already, a, a kind of media toolbox of you know, technology and, and tools there. And now there's a data science and computational social science toolbox that is going to allow them to reach their audiences, better understand how to target specific audiences for their story, and tell far more effective, influential stories.